we had we had shots and didn't make them, and, and they just they came down and I sold our bigs and just. I mean, time after time after time, and I sold our bigs, and when they didn't score it, they passed it to somebody else who scored it seemingly, and then we went 2-3 zone to try to change the tempo a little bit, and I know we had five consecutive misses on first shots, and they had five consecutive offensive rebounds. They just outmanned us. They were just tougher on the glass than we were. Seems like coming out of the timeouts, they're struggling with whatever. Can you? I mean, I just talked to Barty. Said you'd you describe everything clearly for them. Is there any one thing you could point to? Yeah, I guess we don't have the greatest listeners in the world. Um, I don't know. We get a five-second count on an inbounds, and I tell the guy, you know, that they're going to they're going to try to string it out. All you have to do is step to the ball. Just step to the ball, and he ran. He, he ran to half court. Hard to confuse. Step to the ball with run to half court. I think. I. You know what, though, Mitch. The truth of the matter is, is they just they just they just wanted to win more than we did. They just out they out rebounded us. You know we. We throw it close and come up empty, and they throw it close and they score, get fouled, go to the line, make free throws. Osby goes six for six from the foul line. We didn't get to the foul line as much as what we wanted to. But. Coach, those offensive rebounds you're talking about, Oklahoma, it's like you know, it's three, four minutes, two minutes left to go in the game. Are those more crucial to their win than, you know, miss shots on offense? Yeah, I think so. You know, I just said downstairs, Justin, you know, and you've you've covered us, so you've been there. You, you remember we went to Ole Miss and and uh, Andy went 2-3 zone and Ruoff missed it seemed like 100 shots in a row in a corner and Deshaun missed shots, but we rebounded. We rebounded and then we went down and did a pretty good job guarding at the other end. Um, I remember Notre Dame here, Mike goes 2-3 zone, we can't make a shot, we can't buy one. And now that's pretty good shooters, I think. I mean, the all-time leading three-point shooter in the history of West Virginia basketball. And he couldn't make one. And Deshaun couldn't make one, but we rebounded it. We kept balls alive. And we guarded at the other end. If you remember, that's that was Cam Thurman, that's a six-foot-five guy guarding, guarding Heron Go, the returning player of the year in the league, if you, if you remember that, that whole scenario. And the truth is, you know, we, we, we pretty much out-toughed them. Today we got out-toughed. I mean, and, you know, the amazing thing to me is they act like sometimes that, they, that, that, that that's not the case. I mean, I don't know how, how a guy can just continue to rebound the ball and rebound the ball and rebound the ball and you think maybe he's not tougher than you are because that's what rebounding comes down to. We want to reach for it and they want to go fetch it. You know, I mean, we talk about missed shots. I mean, hell, we've missed shots here before and won. I mean, we've had a whole bunch of games we didn't make any shots, and that was with good shooters. And, and, and I'll be honest with you, you know, Aaron Harris goes one for eight today. He made every shot yesterday. We went against their zone yesterday. He made every shot. Every shot. He goes one for eight today. Gary Brown don't make one today. And we continue to throw it close and come up empty. You know, I think, you know, you want to know what the difference is. The difference is we fought it more, I think. In all honesty, we rebounded the ball. We did we did the hard things. We guarded better. You know, when you when you spend seven days saying you can't leave Stephen Pledger, you can't leave the guy. And we run and leave him how many times? What is that? I don't know. I don't know what it is. You keep taking guys out saying, you know, the scout report for seven days was don't leave him. The scout report on a couple other guys was we don't have to come out and guard them. They're going to drive it. They're not shooters, they're drivers. And we went out there and let them drive by us, not knowing personnel. I just told them in the locker room, what are we going to do? I don't know what we're going to do. Now we've got two days to get ready for teams when we had a week before. And they can't remember 
after you tell them for a week. What are we going to do in two days? And if we're not going to rebound it, I mean, why play those guys? We might as well play small and spread them if we're not going to rebound it. I mean, I have a hard time with that, honestly, because my teams have always out-rebounded people. I mean, we've always out tough people. But With all that, though, Bob, it would be a lot easier, wouldn't it, if you occasionally would make, or at least hit the rim inside five feet? I mean, it seems like, you know, I don't know how many points a game you give away in there, but it's an awful lot. No, there's no doubt. I mean, but I mean, I, I don't know, you know. Honestly, honestly, Kevin Irving's not going to score it in there. He, he, he just doesn't have the lift to get over people. He's not going to score it in there. You never know what Dom's going to do with it in there. Dennis has not scored it. Eric Murray's just, you know, if he can't, like, reach over you, he's not going to score it. So I, I don't know. What do you do? I'm just, you know, I don't know. You sit here, you think maybe, maybe we play smaller, and maybe we can. Make, those guys can make a shot, and we can spread people out a little bit, and we can drive it and get to the foul line a little bit more. But then we're not going to be able to rebound. It's going to be really hard to stop the people in this league that have the good quality bigs to, you know, play that small. But I guess when you're not rebounding with your bigs, I mean, what the hell makes the difference? You're not going to rebound it, you're not going to rebound it. It's my fault, shit. It's my fault. I mean, I, I, take, I take total responsibility. It's my fault. Does it make it more difficult to try to find something to hang your hat on when different things work and don't work from game to game, like shooting, playing defense, all those things you've listed? What's well, hard is you never know who's going to play. You never know who's going to show up and – and, and I mean, you know, I mean, it's, it's like I said, I mean, you know, for all the, you know, BS, Ruoff had days he couldn't buy one. They had days he couldn't buy one. You know, I mean, it happens. But so you have to compensate. You have to do other things. And Coaches are this group a variety of reasons why the team is, is in a, in a, a uh, groove here of being unable to retain leads or build on them. Yeah, we don't make shots, Mick. We don't make shots, and we let other people make shots. I mean, for, for, for all of we missed shots, which we did, we never stopped them either, fellas. We never stopped them. So. I, I don't know. I mean, we come out of a timeout in the first half, and we're supposed to run a set. Our guy takes it to the other side of the floor, so now they're all confused. So the guy he's supposed to throw to gets open. He doesn't throw it to him. Well, then that guy says, we got to do something. So he runs the ball screen, and he throws it to him, and they go shoot a layup. I don't know. You know, it kills me because I know how much it means. I mean, I know how much it means to to, to the people in this state, and it, it kills me that we're we're not any better than what we are. And, and I take full responsibility. But you know what, man? You try to you try to believe in people, you know, and you try to trust people, and you, you try to look at the good in people, and and you know. Hindsight, we probably should have made some changes. My fault. It's 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 hundred percent my fault. You've said your past guys did those other things when shots weren't falling. We obviously don't see what happens in practice day to day, but is it is it like that in practice? Do guys not make the hustle plays, block out the sort of fundamental mistakes that seem to be bothering you most? <coughs> they do some days. Some days. 